Good morning, welcome back to Marty's Tying Bench. Today we're tying a straightforward Miracle Mile style scud. Orange scud. Going to use a scud hook, size 12. You can tie them bigger or smaller. Um, there were years on the Green River when 18s and even 20s were effective. Bighorn, 16s and 18s. Miracle Mile 12s and 14s and that can change from decade to decade. 0 0.020 lead optional and I'm just going to put oh maybe eight turns on there. Going to use an orange thread. This is 140 denier. You can use whatever you got. Going to build a little bit of a thread dam in front of the lead and then with my fingernail hold it in place while I get to the back. And a thread dam there. You want this lead to be pretty much in the middle because when you dub over it this will help give you the scud shape you want. Uh, I'm going to start with a little bit of dubbing for a tail. This is south scud dubbing. Gonna roll up my fingers. Tie it in and stroke it back. And just work my way down a little bit. You want to get the benefit of the shape of this hook here. And rather than snip this off, just kind of Try and keep it not too squared off. Now they make a scud back product and it works great, um, but the inexpensive way to do it is just get you an old Ziploc bag that's nice and clear, and I've cut it into strips that are about three thirty seconds. More useful to you, make it about the hook gap. It'll tie in easier if you cut it to just a mild stub on the front. It doesn't need to be pointy, but and as your thread comes back, just make sure that your scud back shrouds the hook. All the way down to where I tied in the tail. Now I've seen these ribbed with wire, and wire is great, but I really like doing it with monofilament. I've just got some regular old 3x tippet. I'm tying this in the length of the hook so that it doesn't pull out when I start picking at it with the dubbing brush. Now I'm not coming all the way down to where the vinyl is or the, the Ziploc bag because I want to get a turn of dubbing behind that. That will make it a lot easier to rib. Back to the dubbing. South Scud. Wapsie South Scud. This is a dead orange you call it. I see a lot of scuds tied really, really bushy, and they, they end up looking like glow bugs, like eggs. I like to keep mine a little more slender, so the first pass here with the dubbing noodle, I've got the dubbing fairly tight. The shape I'm looking for I call the sweet potato shape, kind of pointy on the ends and thick on the middle. And here's where I want to get one turn of dubbing behind. Okay, there's the shape that I like. And sometimes it's hard to pick that dubbing out once you rib it, so I'm going to get that bushy now. And with my fingers, I'm stroking it down. 
Now I can pull the Ziploc over. And kind of a loose wrap. Make sure it shrouds. And then tighten up. Now you see how some of that uh, vinyl or that uh, Ziploc bag is sticking out to the sides? That's okay. The rib will take care of that. Okay, I'm going to come through and rib. And a nice orange hot spot in the front build a, a head as neat as as neat as you think you need to. Back at it with the brush and all of those things that you loosened up you should be able to pull back out from under the ribs. Cut them about the length of the hook gap there. And now you got a nice, clean, neat, segmented top. It's kind of slender from side to side. You got some shape to the scud looking at it from the side. And lots of legs. So there you go. A little freshwater shrimp, uh, orange scud.